Exactly, Michael Greco. Uh, Littlewood sponsor now, Michael. That's good news, isn't it? Littlewood's, yeah, very good. Really pleased. It's a great deal. And they're a great company to work for. Bruce Martin, who's head of the, the poker communications, is a great guy, and he's given me a good opportunity this year. And I'm mm -hmm. partnering Tony Cascarino. So hopefully the two of us will make a good partnership. Is that everywhere in, in the world, or is it just UK? Just, uh, no, it's Europe as well. Right. It's, um, so we've got a major tournament starting at the uh, EPT Barcelona next week. Mm -hmm. well, this is my uh, second event for them, Bolton. So um, it's going to be mainly all the EPTs and probably some of the GUKPTs and a couple of TV events. Do you choose your events, or do you advise them on what you want to play? They gave us a list of the events they wanted us to play when I first signed the contract, and it was fine by me. And the deal is that uh, whatever we win, they take obviously a percentage and some of it goes into other tournaments. It's a cracking deal. And will we see Tony at the tables this week? Yeah, Tony's coming tomorrow. He'll be here for day one beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's looking forward to playing. So does that mean you're now rooming with him all the time? Now you're both, no. both Littlewood's players? No, no, we're not rooming like footballers do in a, in a hotel. We're, uh, we stay at the same hotel. So we used to get on well before, we, before I signed the deal. We're good mates and we got on really well in Vegas last year and uh, it was down to him really that I got the... I got the deal, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, for, pleased for, him for doing that. And you got to a final table at World Series, which must be fantastic. Oh, I got to a final table at World Series, I grinded it away, it was pot limit holding, and, um, and then I got a big cooler where I had kings against aces, so um, you know, could, he was right next to me, so it could have been my aces against his kings, you know. It could have so easily been the other way, and I would have, I would have been well in there for a bracelet. So I... I played really well for three days to get there, and it just takes one hand, doesn't it? And this is pot limit holding as well, so normally pot limit holding, you can get away, but I had most of my chips in with kings, and to, to pass them pre-flop is, is hard. I can do it probably on the flop if a guy it comes out betting again, but pre-flop is difficult. Now, uh, British players in Vegas this year performed pretty well. Uh, did you get a chance to speak to much of the, many of the guys out there? It started off well, didn't it? James Aiken had got mm. a second, and yeah, Peter Gould got a third, and Roland got, I think, a fourth, and uh, a few people made the final tables, but no one actually won one, which is such a shame, you know? And Sam Tricky obviously did, uh, I think, top three or four he made. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it was a shame that none of the Brits won one. It, it would have been great, um, it's because our support for, for the Brits out there is, is brilliant. It, the Yanks are great players, but you've got to think that the, the percentage of the, the Americans that play to the percentage of the Brits is, is pretty high. Yeah. So uh, they've, all, they've always got more of a chance making final tables, and you'll always see like three, four, five <laughs> Americans at the final table. So it's difficult to win a break. So you need a lot of luck. James Aikenhead was so unlucky. He got the chips in with by far the best hand, and uh, the guy hit quads. So, um, you know, he, but he still went, went away with a healthy paycheck. Yeah. We'll see you Europe. Are you going down? I, I will go if, if things run well. Hello, Ellie. Um, but I, I, I'm not going to pay £10,000 for the main event. I'll try and qualify in the satellite, but it's just it's, it's a lot of money. Uh, Little Woods, I don't think, will be sponsoring us. So um, I'm going to probably sit it out. I'll pay the £1,500 uh, for his out, and uh, if I do well, then I'll, I'll buy into the main event. I may play the 5000 Omaha, I don't know yet. Yeah. I'd like to play because it's, it's, a, it's a major event in England, obviously. Yeah. And, um, With a chance of winning a bracelet, obviously. Chance of winning a bracelet. So, um, and, uh, I'd love to play, but I'm, I'm not going to fork out £10,000. I, I think a lot of people won't be forking out £10,000. It's too much. Well, thanks for talking to us, and uh, good luck with your table.